Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I built this beautiful plant table. Now the table I started with is an Ikea Magicker table that I got from Craigslist for $30. You don't need this exact table to do this project, but I just recommend looking on Craigslist or next door to find something secondhand that you can start with. Really, it just needs to be a coffee table that has a shelf or box on the bottom and a floating glass top. You could also build the base to start with, but I would just recommend getting secondhand because one, it'll save you some time and money, and two, you'll already have a tempered piece of glass for the top that fits perfectly to the table. Okay, let's jump into the build. I started with that table I got off Craigslist and immediately replaced the legs with some others from Amazon I liked better. Next, I bought some acrylic sheets from Home Depot and took measurements of the inside of the coffee table top where I'd be constructing a watertight acrylic box. And to be honest, it's always good to measure twice. I set up a little makeshift work table with just some horses and clamps from Home Depot and some spare wood I had lying around to place the acrylic on. Next up, I marked where I'd be cutting the acrylic and traced the cut lines. And really, you can use any straight edge if you don't have a comically large ruler. Safety first. And now it's time to cut some acrylic using a jigsaw. I tested a few speeds and blades on scrap pieces of acrylic before cutting my main pieces. I found a metal cutting blade with a high TPI did the best job out of all the blades I tried. I clamped an additional piece of wood over top to create a track guide for my jigsaw. The cut wasn't perfect, but I sanded out any rough areas to get it as smooth as possible. If you have access to a laser cutter or a table saw, that will do a better job of cutting, but I live in a smaller apartment, so I have a jigsaw just due to it being much cheaper and easier to store. Once all the pieces were cut to size, I removed their plastic covering and used scotch tape on the outside of the pieces to hold them together into the box shape I wanted. Placing a book in the corner can help support if you're struggling to do this. Then I went around and glued contact points and the corners of the whole box with Gorilla Glue Super Glue. After the glue dried, I applied a silicone sealant to all of the seams where the sides met. And then smoothed out the beads of silicone to fully seal those seams. Carefully look to make sure all gaps are closed up and go back over any spots that need it with more silicone. While you're applying the silicone, make sure you have windows open and good ventilation. While waiting for all of that to dry, I prepped the shorter table legs. I'm gonna use these table legs on top of the table to give the glass a higher float and give a little more space for the plants. I masked and painted the area of the legs that was going to sit in the dirt with Rustelium paint. This will really help reduce risk of rust. Once the legs were ready, I drilled pilot holes through the acrylic bottom into the table base carefully so that the acrylic wouldn't break and then screwed in the metal legs. After that, I repeated the silicone sealing here to make sure no water seeps out. This includes covering up the top of the screws. You won't see any of this in the final product, so better to be too excessive rather than not excessive enough when it comes to the silicone application around the legs. Once that was done, I let that all dry overnight and set. For the drainage layer, I used lava rock. Since I was concentrating the majority of my succulents and plants to one side, I placed the lava rock accordingly. Next comes the soil. And then the best part, the plants. I used some succulents I already had, as well as some new ones I got from Home Depot. Once I got the design to a place I was happy with, I cleaned up the mess and wiped down the glass table. And it was ready to go. It honestly turned out way better than I had hoped and I am so excited to have such a cute little morning coffee spot. And that's how I built my plant coffee table. The total cost of all the materials was around $180 and that included the table I started with, the um, acrylic to build the box, the soil, the succulents, most of the succulents, 
the table legs for both the top and the bottom, the silicone, and also the super glue. I did already have the Rust-Oleum paint, the lava rocks, and a few of the succulents, so those aren't included in the total cost. Thank you for watching, I hope this was helpful. If you like this video and you want me to do more or you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.